Hi, and welcome to Tiger Art. Today we're going to be continuing the Burton Morris Pop Art Project. So we started last week by getting a few pieces of paper together and cutting them out into the shapes that we would want. We did this because it was an easy shortcut to make this project go a bit faster. His pictures were actually painted. So to hand paint these, it would take us some extra time and some extra steps that we're just gonna skip over. And since he was painting every shape all one color, like there's no blending of colors or there's no mixing of uh, colors between shapes, we could easily just replace that with a flat piece of paper and cut it out in the shape we want and get the same result to be a little cleaner in less time. That's our process for this pop art project. So we were working through some of the basic shapes first. In any good design or painting or drawing, you always start with the biggest, most basic shapes, and then you work your way to the smaller details that go over top. You wouldn't wanna go in reverse. So the same thing goes here. We start with the biggest pieces of paper first, like the main background shape and the hearts. Then we skipped ahead a bit to some of the smaller shapes, like maybe there's some smaller hearts that are over top of the larger ones. Now we're gonna be putting it all together and adding some of those little details that make these things really pop. Hence the name, Pop Art. Okay, so last time I told you to get started on the Burton Morris Pop Art Project, and today we're going to finish it. So there's a few things left to do. Uh, one thing I would suggest is gluing down your hearts from last week if you haven't done that yet or finish making your hearts just to be clear here you don't have to make three hearts you don't have to make the three hearts the same colors as mine or sizes as mine you could make one heart and arrange that however you'd like you could make two you could make more smaller ones they can be whatever colors you want to use of paper it is totally up to you Right now you are watching me create my version of this project, but it is an art project. It's not like a math problem where it needs to be done a certain way. So you are free to be creative with this. All I was doing was showing you some inspiration from Burton Morris and his style, and then I'm showing you what I would do if I were to create a picture in that style. That does not mean that your version of it would be the same. We're not copying directly from a Burton Morris picture, so it doesn't need to be exactly like that. With everything you glue down, you want to hold for about 20 seconds each time, so hold it tight. Okay, so once you get to that point, then what? I'm gonna add some more details. So you could use either the colors that you've already used or black and white, or both. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of both. So one thing I will do is put a highlight on each heart. This is pretty simple to do. You just take a piece of white paper and you need to cut some kind of shape that looks, you know, it doesn't really need to be anything, but it could be a shape that looks kind of like this. If the shape is different, totally fine. So I'm gonna do that there, there. And here, it's just some kind of curve shape to fit along this curve. It could even be straight sided. It really doesn't matter that much. It's up to you what you want to do. So I'm gonna do that. I like the way that looks. I would glue those on and then I can add some other stuff too. So I could take black now and come back into this with a new piece and I could make some other black lines in here. Like if I wanted to do, I don't know, something here like this. That looks cool. Maybe I'll go like this and I'll make
put that on there. That looks cool. So you can really do this any way you like. Certainly won't get any complaints or criticisms from me. I encourage you to be creative. And even if you don't like the way it looks, hopefully you will have learned something and you went through the process of trying something new. So please don't stress out about this. This is not what this is about. So anywhere you want to put these, you could put it, I don't know, maybe I put it right here. Is there any reason why that couldn't be there? Nope. this one here and then I could even take like a pen or a marker and I could add some more stuff to this like if I wanted to do something like this here and run a line around there sure why not what if I wanted to do some lines down here like this. You don't have to do this step, just so you know. This is not necessary. You could just leave it as, after you do those little white things, be done. I'm just choosing to add some more. Whenever you're finished for today and everything's glued down, you are welcome to take a picture and submit.